Hey everybody and welcome back. There might be a clue about what really happened to MH370 hiding in plain sight. It's all thanks to you, the Whisper or WSPR network. I'd never heard about it, but it's absolutely fantastic and it's all amateur. And it might just bypass all government and official efforts of finding the plane and actually solve it with us amateurs. Here's a very basic overview from me. Whisper sends out a signal of location and power all over the world. And if you pick up a Whisper signal, you can log it and put it in a database. And slowly it builds up a network of intersecting radio amateurs. It turns out that that network is interrupted when a wee plane flies through it and you can pick up the interference and actually track objects in the sky by the way that the whisper network is modulated. All we have to do is to go back to the date of the disappearance of MH370 and follow it. So is that possible? Well, it just might be. And it's not the first time that amateurs have solved a massive mystery. Remember these two strange words? Extraordinary rendition? Yeah. After 9-11, after the war on terrorism, the US had captured a lot of potential terrorists and needed to interrogate them. And that was seen as not possible to do on American soil. So under new post 9-11 law, the CIA were able to interrogate suspects offshore. And they used these two weird words, extraordinary rendition, talking about how somebody could be sent somewhere for interrogation. Us in the rest of the world held our breath. We understood the outrage of the United States, but was extraordinary rendition really a good policy? And did we, the rest of the world, actually want to get involved? And the answer was probably not. So this is what the USA did. They put terror suspects on charter planes, business jets, and flew them to countries like Poland. But a charter business jet needed refueling after it crossed the Atlantic. So did they use British airports like London Heathrow for general aviation refueling? Well, according to the British Home Secretary at the time, Jack Straw, absolutely not. Britain was not involved in extraordinary rendition. Well, a Guardian journalist thought otherwise. And how he solved that mystery using amateur information might be exactly what we can do today to solve the MH370 mystery. The journalists knew that captured terror suspects were being flown from the United States to places in Europe, secret USA bases. It was also pretty well known that the CIA had its own airline, a charter company of just business jets, which would need refueling. Were these CIA jets secretly turning up at London Heathrow to be refueled for their onward flight to Poland? One group of people solved it. On the roof of the Queen's building, Terminal 2 Heathrow, every morning, plane spotters logged every tail number of every plane. Now, Heathrow weren't actually going to release the information. The government denied it. But the plane spotters logged every flight. November 80 Delta Lima was logged in a wee notebook by an amateur Landing, refueling, and departing. Who was this jet? With that amateur evidence, the journalist actually got a confession out of Jack Straw, the Home Secretary, clearly stating in Parliament that although Britain wasn't involved in the interrogation, we were offering our services to help extraordinary rendition flights. It all came out. So could the Amateur Whisper Network actually solve the mystery of where MH370 disappeared? What was its track? Did it blink out of existence or did it crash into the sea? That answer might be hiding in plain sight and actually have a historical precedence from the birth of Radar and Robert Watson Watt. 
Sorry, everybody. This is fast turning into my Christmas jumper lecture. <laughs> Robert Watson Watts' history absolutely fascinates me. Most people think he invented radar, which he didn't. <laughs> and even today on Wikipedia, if you look up the history of radar, it says that Robert Watson Watt invented it at a place called Daventry. Why the F was it Daventry? Well, the clue's in its place name, and it's very similar to this Whisper Network. The biggest radio transmitter in England was that place called uh, Daventry. It was operated by the GPO, the post office, to transmit the BBC's radio signal. And they noticed that when a wee plane flew through the signal, it wobbled. That wobble was observed on the ground by Robert Watson Watt, and it led to RDF, radio direction finding. And it was truly brilliant. But actually, it was already known about what we might be able to do with Citizen Science Amateur Radio Whisper Network is just the same. Not invent radar, but solve the mystery of MH370. The truth might just be out there.